Okay, so now we have in the paper, uh, let me zoom in on it, a fascinating series. Pi equals the sum of 1 over 16 to the n times 4 over 8n plus 1 minus 2 over 8n plus 4 minus 1 over 8n plus 5 minus 1 over 8n plus 6. So we have a different series here. Okay, what do you think of that series? And this, this goes off to infinity. Uh, well, tell me what it, tell me what the series says. Well, we have so the sum from n equals zero to infinity of one sixteenth, one over sixteen to the n times this. This is that. This is this is our term. Right. This is our term. And how many? How, this is our term for each one over sixteen to the n. And how many one over sixteen to the n's do we have in the series? Looks like infinity. In infinitely meant, yeah. Um, and then what Kali does is intro introduce a similar concept to what we just looked at. And I want to get that in here. Okay. She introduces this integral, the integral from 0 to 1 over root 2 of x to the k minus 1 over 1 minus x to the eighth. Now this seems like a strange integral to suddenly introduce, mm -hmm. right? But by exactly the same technique what, uh, of expanding this one, 1 over 1 minus x to the 8th as an infinite series, and what would that infinite series be, 1 over 1 minus x to the 8th? So ignore the term on the top for a second. 1 over 1 minus x to the 8th would be what? So it's 1 plus x to the 8th plus x to the 16th plus x to the 24th. Okay. Da, da, da. So that proof happens here down below. In fact, you can see the 1 over 1 minus u series that we looked at. Okay. Um, so she proves that this integral actually equals this sum. 1 over the square root of 2 to the 4th times 1 over 16 to the n times the sum of 1 over 8 n plus 1. And it, it's a, it's a, that's a k. Oh, they're, sorry. They're both k. Oh, sorry, k. I'm far away from the camera, but yeah. So it equals this sum, uh, and that's kind of reminiscent of this, but it only has one mm -hmm. term. And then she moves on to this fascinating integral here, 0 to 1 over root 2 of 4 root 2 minus 8x cubed minus 4 root 2x to the 4th minus 8x cubed whole thing divided by 1 minus x to the 8th. x to the 5th. x to the 5th, sorry. And that equals this. Hmm. That's, that's what we're looking for. That, so that's the series that we were looking for, or we are looking for. And so all we have to do now to know what this series equals is to evaluate this integral. All right. All right, how would you think about evaluating that integral? Well, we have a lot of polynomials. But some I might consider using partial fractions to solve this. Yeah. But it's kind of a messy partial fractions problem. Absolutely. This is a very messy partial fractions problem. One of the problems that's going to happen is when you factor 1 minus x to the eighth on the bottom. You get several differences of squares, and then you're left with several additions of squares. Yeah, so you get a couple things that don't factor, like an x to the fourth plus 1 uh, and an x squared plus 1. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a tricky integral for sure. Uh, so we uh, are going to look at this on a computer, which is exactly what Kali does in the paper. All right. Okay.